to feel is to be alive. To feel is to take a stand. And so um, when you're feeling any kind of emotion, it is very important that you acknowledge that feeling and that is not brush away. Um, um, and, um, and, and that it be given the kind of voice that honors it. And a lot of time we have been taught in the West to only look for certain emotions because it's we feel good. You know, if you have all smile, everybody wants to talk to you. But, you know, if you're frowning and you seem to be having tears, God forbid, you know, um, no one wants to get near you because it's like that uh, forbidden fruit you have eaten and no one wants to get there. So in my tradition, they have come to see that um, when you don't deal with grief, you actually um, make grief for everybody else. And so that's part of the reason why they have come up with a grief ritual that they perform um, whenever or sometimes, and also at funerals. Um, because um, it is considered that in, in this human body, it is a necessity to feel, and it is a necessity to also express those feelings. And so when... Um, um, Someone in the community is not feeling, they take it as meaning that the life of a person is in danger, and therefore the life of the entire community is in danger. Because you are now like a pressure cooker, and no one knows what's going to make it explode. It's the lack of expression of a grief that makes grief toxic within us. And so that's why they are interested in getting everyone to be able to release their grief so that we can all be on the same page. 